Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Summer Games from Epix. It's released in 1984 and kicked off the company's games series. Basically, games in quotes there. As there were Summer Games, Summer Games 2, Winter Games, California Games, World Games, the game's Summer Edition, the game's Winter Edition, and then I think the last release was a sequel to California Games. Just the only one I have not played. My Quinn may be picking up the disk drive, which is making all kinds of noise. Squeaky noises. Probably going to pick up my controller, too. I'm going to stop talking once the opening ceremonies begin. It should be in a second here, I think. But only one game requires... Very old. Saying only one game requires moving the controller back and forth very fast, and none of them require rapid button pressing, so it may not be too noisy here. You can see number of options on the menu. I'm going to compete in all the events. There's eight of them. I'll show you the world records after I finish, so you can see what you know how you're supposed to do. Because I expect I'm going to do terrible. You can watch the opening ceremonies you know, over and over. They're not built into the compete in all events. You get 18 options here, 17 countries, and then epics is an option if you don't want to play for any of these countries. Go with the US. Just going to play solo. Of course, this is a fun game with more players. But I always enjoy playing all of these competitive Olympic style games. Alright, I'm not going to talk during the loading because I'm going to edit it to make them very short on the other, and all the events. The timing to get the pull in the slot is a pain. <laughs> well, maybe once you practice a lot, you get it down. I practice very little ahead of time, just wanted to, you know, figure out what the controls were. Oh, the first button press didn't seem to take. I was going high just because I thought I could. Ah, oh, I didn't quite make it. Ah, I didn't, I didn't do it, but, <laughs> oh well, I didn't get a medal, but, I'm the only, uh, person playing, so. So, there's a few different types of dives, like the way you're jumping off, forward, backward, and I'm not sure what they all are, but I think there's four of them. And then you, you hold the controller to do a, a certain move, and then it's all about releasing at the right time or straightening out, <laughs> or else you just can go like into the water very really poorly. But I think since I'm playing alone, I'm, I'm going to get a score or a time in all the rest of the events, so I think I get medals regardless. Pole vault was just the one you had to get right, so... I got pushed the wrong way on the controller. I think I had to push up. Hey, someone gave me half a point. Thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. We got to push up. Well, I messed these up, but nothing was perfect. I get cold because there's nobody else here. Alright, so this one. About pacing. Let's stick a computer guy in there, but they don't really matter. It's just to help you know kind of when to speed up. Ah, I, <laughs> I, oh, I wonder what happened. I think is they stopped it short. That was a good handoff. I think I ran them into the ground and they just completely stopped one f like step before they needed to. So you can see the gray bar at the bottom, or sometimes white. It depends if they're tired or how fast. How much you're pushing them. Oh, here's the end. Guess I should have run faster. I'm sure it's not a great time, but I don't know. I'll go look at the world record and see what a great time is. I guess because it's using the same track that one I didn't need to edit it loaded immediately so this is the one I gotta move the joystick back and forth as fast as possible so maybe noisy probably a decent time. Oh, look at that. I, I tied my record. Oh, I assume all my uh, old scores are good, but maybe they aren't. I didn't think I did that great. Alright, this... I mean, I can't quite figure out you press the button to run, press the button to jump under the springboard, press the button again and they're on the, it's the pommel horse. So, I mean, I can do it, but I get terrible scores. <laughs> I don't know if you can do more than one somersault. You can also kind of do a reverse if you hold the controller when coming off the board. Oh. Wow, that was actually way better than anything I could do while I was practicing. So that was okay. I got way more height than I was getting in practice. Like that. <laughs> I didn't get... I couldn't even complete one somersault, so... I mean, that was it. You only got two tries, but that first one was decent. Summer Games 2, I think it's a rapid button pressure to build up speed. I think it has the same event. Boy, the disk drive is sure as well. Wailing at times. <laughs> this one is t 
timing button presses, which I'm really bad at so far while practicing, so we'll see what happens. You're supposed to be pressing the button as the arm goes in the water. I've got headphones on when I play. What I think was, <laughs> thought was the disk drive wailing. It's actually maybe a dog outside. So now my button pressing is off. My turn was terrible too. My first guy did really well. If you can't get it, then you just wait. You know, I feel like I'm off the whole time if I don't have the button pressing down. There he goes. Of course, without a competitor, there's <laughs> not much concern. You do have to try to time the guy jumping back into the water, the replacement. And you do tell it when to spin around there too. It's all just timing. The next event's going to be the same thing, except just one guy back and forth. It's going to look identical though. this to load fast since it's the pool well that one had to do a long load actually not like the track I think I got off to a perfect start and a good turn. I think that was a good run. 25.8. It's not a record, but... I don't think I could have done it too much better. Try to remember that when I look at the world records. See how close it was. I think what's left, they're skeet shooting. Yeah, I guess that's it. So this is just moving across here around and trying to hit targets. get you know one shot for target sometimes you know it's just you gotta be really light on the controls when a you know, computer mouse would make this real easy, but and I missed. <laughs> oh, I'll hit a few.
great anticipation to see that I won. <laughs> It set a world record, or I tied it, and it, I think it replaced the name. Come on, let's look at those records. See, on that relay, I don't even know who David is, I'm not positive. But, I went over three minutes, and that's under, under two. And a dash I tied. Gymnastics have gotten a perfect score. I don't know who Thomas. He got 25.1. I think I had 25.8. So not too bad. Just keep shooting. It looks like that, that's a perfect score as well. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a practice on the pole vault. Just so you can see what it looks like to complete it, because I'm going to get one before I end this. Not that there's much to see, obviously. It's just don't knock down on the bar. Oh, I stopped way too early there. In the world records, I made 5.7. I'm going to leave a, a link in the video description. Oh, too late. Just to an article, a nine-page article I scanned from... It's mostly interviews with... Yay! The Epic Games. That was perfect. If I just raise it really high to see how high it goes. <laughs> And then I'll end the video here. You know, the article, it's mostly interviews with people from Epix when they were still in business. Wow, his feet didn't even Let's see if I can break my record here. This interesting article talks about mostly after summer games, but yeah, I guess he had a time to when you put the feet up, I wasn't, I was doing that way too early, I guess. Well, that wasn't too bad, I think, but, alright, so, thanks for watching.